Eddie Murphy stars in his first Christmas movie, and when I saw the ad for this movie, I knew I had to watch it, and I'm so excited because I finally got to watch it, and I'm going to be talking about it on today's video. Hi guys, it's your girl Tayo, aka Misty. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, I talk about movies, and welcome if you are new. Welcome back if you are not new. I'm so happy you are here. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. Just click the subscribe button. That's it. And then also turn on your bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Um, like this video if you enjoy it. Share it with your friends. Share it with whoever you feel you enjoy this movie. And also drop a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Also, I have a blog. Yeah, I have a blog on WordPress. Movie reviews are there also. So this one will be up on my blog too. You can check it out if you prefer to read the review. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So today I'm going to be talking about the movie Candy Cane Lane. Candy Cane Lane is a 2023 American Christmas comedy film and it's available on Amazon Prime. So the movie stars Eddie Murphy, Tracy Ellis Ross, Julian Bell, and others. So this movie is filled with talented actors. So this movie is based on the Carver family. So it's about the Carver family. So um, Chris Carver, which is Eddie Murphy, so he is married to Carol. That's Tracy Ellis Ross, and they have three children named um, Joy, Nick, and Holly. So this, that just shows that Chris, he loves Christmas very much and he named his children after Christmas things. So anyway, so um, it's almost Christmas and in their neighborhood, there is um, a Christmas decoration competition that happens every year and um, the covers they have never won, but Chris is very passionate about his decoration. He carves his um, Christmas decorations by himself with wood and he displays them on his front yard and everything. So um, um, his neighbor like has won four years in a row. So <laughs> Chris is jealous of his neighbor and he doesn't really like them. So. Chris goes to work that day and um, he gets laid off from work and it's just before Christmas so he was sad, he was angry and um, so anyway he just put all his focus on the Christmas competition especially when he heard the prize money there, there had never been a prize money so but that year there was a prize money of a hundred thousand dollars so he and his family, they needed the money, so he wanted to win that money. So he was really, really passionate about decorating that year. So Chris, in search of decorations to beat his neighbor, he comes across like a weird um, Christmas shop because he went to other shops. They were out of Christmas decorations because it was too late. So he was just driving around here and he's last born holly and they stumbled across this shop in like a secluded place where they sell christmas decorations so they go into the shop they see a lot of beautiful decorations and um also the shop attendant was a lady named pepe which is played by jill jill bell jillian bell so uh, she was she was acting kind of weird but anyway, the decorations were really good and Chris was impressed. So he purchased some things. So when um, the receipt was printed, um, Pepe, she told him that he needs to sign. So and like, you know, received the, the like little letters on it. So he was trying to read it. She was like, no, don't bother. Don't read it. It's just... The normal legal mumbo jumbo, you don't need to read it, just sign. It was like, oh, okay. He signed the receipts and then um, 
as you were saying, like the sh shop, like it started kind of shaking and the decorations were kind of like coming on on their own, like singing on their own and stuff like that. So that was weird, but Chris didn't see it as anything because when um he, he just wanted to win, so he got the decorations and um he took them home. There was this particular decoration that he got. It was like um a Christmas tree of the twelve days of Christmas, like you know the song, the twelve days of Christmas, a partridge in a pear tree, two tortillas, three French hens, four calling the like. Stuff like that till the 12 days so it was a huge tree so like that was like the biggest purchase so he was happy he bought that he went home and um he set it up because later that day was like i think the competition the christmas decoration competition so he quickly set it up and um the time for the competition comes and like his decoration literally outshines every other decoration in the neighborhood and he won. So um, they go to bed and they wake up the next morning and he finds out that like the stuff on the 12 days of Christmas tree have been like cut out. So he thought it was vandalized. Like the tree, it, it was like a cardboard with the pictures of the stuff of like the partridge in a pear tree, you see the picture of the partridge in the tree, five golden rings, you see the picture, the calling birds, you see the picture. So it was like those pictures were carved out of the tree. So he thought his neighbor vandalized his property out of um, hatred or something like that, out of jealousy. So he blamed his neighbor and his neighbor denied it because he actually really didn't have anything to do with it. He was like, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. So anyway, Chris, he went back to the shop to find Pepe to see if she could help him. So um, when he got there at first, Pepe was not there. So and in the shop, there was like um, figurines, like um, Christmas themed figurines. So and um, he went to the shop with Holly again. So um, one of the figurines called them. So the man, he told them his name. I've forgotten the name. The man explained everything. He was like, um, Pepe is evil. She's an evil elf. She, she's tricky. What did she do to you? Did you sign? It was like, yes, he signed the contract. And he signed the receipt. They were like, that's the contract. That's the deal that the same thing happened to them that she made them sign something and then gave them like a test which was like impossible to pass. So it was like, oh no, what do I do? So anyway, Pepe, she came and um, he told her that his stuff had been vandalized, like his ornaments are missing, can she help him? She was like, no, those that decoration is one of a kind. His handmade, blah blah blah. He has to find them himself. She was like, um, if not, if he does not find five, the five golden rings, it will turn into like the figurines, like the ones she has. So, and he needs to find them before the clock strikes eight on Christmas Eve. So that was what she told him that would make the course break like she told him it was like a curse and in order to break it he needs to find the five golden rings to save himself and his family so and then the end all of a sudden like he started seeing different things like the 12 days of christmas they began to appear like in his family like in his pool at the back of his house he saw the is he this the swans or the geese? Anyway, he saw swans in his house. His wife was like, did you get them? Is this for the prize? Is this for the competition? Get them away. We didn't agree to this and stuff like that. Then also geese, geese, they were flying, they were laying egg on his wife, on him, and like it was just messy. And then also they saw like, okay, 
his daughter um joy she she runs so one day it was an important like competition like um scouts from universities came to that game to see if she could get scholarship into their school so and then while she was running like the um for something lepers leaping those lepers they went at the game they were stopping her from running and like those things they were just messing with him and his family because pepe she wanted she wanted him to suffer something like that so um he he tried it was trying to get the rings and um then one time when he went back to the shop the figurines they begged him to like save them to take them away from that shop so he took them home and they were like helping him telling him what to do to get the five rings so but did he succeed or did he get turned into a figurine like them watch the movie to find out so this movie is an interesting movie um i like the fact that they give life to like every character in the movie like we see Eddie, um, we see how he lost his job and um, how he was trying to um, provide for his family. See his wife Carol, she I think she works in like a production company, like and she was up for promotion. You see how she she was like working hard for that promotion. See his daughter Joy, she loves running and she she's about to go to college and then um, she wants to go to one school but her parents want her to go to another school that's closer from the house. And then um, their son Nick, he likes music, but his parents <laughs> they feel like music is not a reliable career issue, face his studies. And you see his daughter Holly, she's just spending time with her father so um <clears throat> even the figurines like they get a kind of backstory into into their lives so that was good we didn't just like get introduced to the characters not knowing who they were we kind of have an idea of who they are and that gives life it gives more life to the story if not too much <laughs> so Anyway, it's a good, interesting family movie to watch this holiday season if you are looking for one. I think one message this movie is about um, not trying to control people because um, Chris and his wife, they were like kind of trying to control their children. They, they wanted them to follow their plan. They didn't want them to live their lives. Um, like I said, Joy, she had the college in mind that she wanted to go to, but her parents, they had another one in mind, which was their college. They wanted her to go to the same school they went to. So, and then also Nick, they, he loved music. They were like, music is not a good career. And especially the instrument he played, he played the tuba. They were like, who is famous for playing the tuba? <laughs> So, but anyway, when the whole issue with the 12 days of Christmas coming to life happened and they had to work together, they, they formed a, a more stronger bond, I feel, and like they loved each other more and they just like realized how um, they value their likes, their hobbies, how important their lives were to them. So that was good. Um, I feel um Pepe, she she was like the perfect villain in this movie. Like um Gillian Bell, she played very well in this movie. She was so good, and um yeah, the movie was interesting. It's a funny movie. Yeah, um my favorite part in this movie is um when the Black Santa came, <laughs> because um. Pepe, she's mischievous. She keeps on like changing the rules. Like it's impossible to beat her, to break that contract. So um, Santa Claus had to come from North Pole and intervene. So 
They're like, yo, Santa's black. One guy was like, hey, Uncle Santa. <laughs> so that was funny. He was like, yo, peppermint. <laughs> so <laughs> that was good. Um, anyway, the movie is interesting. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, so Candy Kane Lane, have you seen it? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, drop your favorite Christmas movie of 2023 in the comment section below and um that's it for today's video thank you for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one happy holidays